Welcome to our daily reflection. Going to be seeking to come to you every day, uh, Monday to Friday, in our present situation. And I want to use the book of Proverbs to begin with. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, it says, The Lord will be your confidence. And I wonder, what do you have confidence in? Maybe your own ability, or your family, or your qualifications, or maybe the government. Years ago, I went as a leader with a group of young people to go abseiling over at the Frontier Centre. This, for me, was not a pleasant thought. To be hanging over the edge of what appeared to be a very large drop was filling me with a new level of fear. So I very humbly allowed all the young people to go first before... I eventually had to climb the ladder and make my way to the top, over to the instructor to get my harness on. At that moment, I had to decide, did I have confidence in this bit of kit I was wearing, or the instructor who was telling me what to do, or the young people who were holding the rope at the bottom? And of course, did I have confidence in the tower itself? I crept over the edge and very slowly and with as much courage as I could muster leant back to begin my descent. It was a truly amazing experience. There was a rush of adrenaline and a feeling of achievement. Although having said that, I've never done it again since. But I did do it that once. The writer of Proverbs 3 tells us that the Lord will be our confidence. Let's read it together. Proverbs 3, beginning at verse 23. Then you will walk safely in your way, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence, and he will keep your foot from being caught. At this time, there's not much to have confidence in. Everything is so unknown. And yet we're told here, the Lord will be your confidence. The Lord will be. In other words, it will happen. He is and shall always be your confidence. As you look into today and into the weeks to come, whatever challenges you face, God will be your confidence. And over the next few days, we'll continue to explore encouragement from Proverbs at this time. So won't you join me as we pray together? Let's pray. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are God's people, giving and loving. Wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us, Lord. Amen. Stay connected. Stay calm, stay caring, stay courageous, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.